It has been a violent day in the city of Mosul, where the battle to recapture the ISIS-controlled region is currently underway. Iraqi forces operating with air and ground support from American troops launched an offensive to drive militants out in a push to win back the ISIS stronghold. Joining me now via Skype from uh, Erbil, Iraq, is Michael Georgi, special correspondent for Reuters. Michael, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Uh, I want to ask you about Kurdish forces. Uh, they broke through the front line today, as we're hearing, trying to retake that main road from ISIS. Was today successful from your vantage point for the pro-government forces? Well, it's still it's still very early on. The Kurds are basically <clears throat> started some action south of Mosul, but uh, there hasn't been very heavy fighting, and it's not expected for about another five to six days. Uh, the Kurds are expected to hold positions so that people, civilians fleeing Mosul will have a safe place to stay. So I don't think they'll be leading this charge, uh, and it'll be Iraqi forces and counterterrorism forces that'll, that'll be uh, taking up most of the heat. Can you talk a little bit about how the U.S. coalition is involved in this fight at this point? Yes, the coalition has, has been carrying out airstrikes for a while. That's, that's why, um, <clears throat> well, across Iraq, ISIS has been weakened. And, of course, it'll be vital support. Um, but I think it's going to be weeks or months, and it's very unpredictable what will happen inside Mosul. You have a Sunni city. You have um, <clears throat> a federal police force that is sometimes infiltrated by Shiite militias. So the big challenge will be not only taking Mosul, but making sure there'll be no sectarian tensions afterwards. And if they manage to do that, then there's a chance for better civility in Iraq. But it's very volatile. You have the UN warning that ISIS could take um, hostages, a human shield. So it's still very uncertain, and it's, it's very early at the moment. Um, yeah, it's a very, anything. very, very scary time. Um, I know once things kind of settle down, the United Nations likes to get in there um, in humanitarian crisis mode. Do we know kind of what their plan is for getting inside the city? And if so, what level of concern they have for the people still living in Mosul at this point? Maybe how they're preparing, if you even can right now? Well, the problem for the United Nations is a lot of the aid money is going to Syria for these kinds of activities that they're undertaking. Um, they have plans for about 22 sites. They've done six sites so far, which aren't complete. Um, they don't have the money they need because of, um, for various reasons, donors haven't given money. So they're on short of a, a shoestring budget. And for the moment, they're not, go, they're planning, not planning to go into Mosul. They're going to be outside. The situation is too volatile. So I don't think, um, you know, they're confident that everything will automatically go smoothly. Yeah, very tough times there. Michael Giorgi in Iraq for us. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.